Hello guys and welcome to my channel once again for another Super Sunday video. Today I have a very interesting video for you all because I'll show you a tweak for the Prepare 3D version 4 and that tweak uh, is called uh, Affinity Mask uh, which somehow boosts your uh, CPU or the processor unit and uh, you're getting less stutters in case uh, you are using this tweak as you should because in case you will make a uh, bigger value that uh, I'll tell you to do so uh, you will have a very blurry textures uh, in your simulator but your performance will not be harmed uh, so enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like at the end so let's get started so uh, many users say that P3D version 4 is perfect and it does not need any tweaks but I find this tweak uh, very simple and effective so anyone can try it out as it takes only few minutes to activate it. So the Affinity Mask is a tweak so called to increase performance and make less stutters. Uh, you may use this tweak at your own responsibility as you can insert different values in your simulator.cfg file but this value is more or less the same for everyone with better computer specification. So as said before, the Affinity Mask will also affect your CPU usage and it will tweak it a bit uh, but in case uh, you may experience uh, some higher temperature at your CPU. So I do not uh, recommend using this tweak uh, on a low-end computers but the tweak might also work. In the next few moments I will show you how to activate the Affinity Mask and how to change the values for it. You'll surely have less stutters and I have also found out that there are less stutters and the performance is more or less the same. And I'm also uh, not experiencing any problems uh, with high uh, CPU temperatures. Ok, so that's enough of talking, so let's get to the point of adding the Affinity Mask to .cfg files for prepare to d version 4. Ok, so the first thing first, you need to find your roaming database for prepare 3 d version 4, which is most likely the way described at the bottom of your the screen. And then, after you find your roaming and p3d version 4 files, you should search for the prepare 3 dcfg file. This file is the main file for the flight simulator and we will activate the affinity mask uh, through uh, the prepare3d.cfg uh, file. You may open it up as in notebook and then head to the bottom of the .cfg file and place the following uh, record. So you should write job schedule in the square brackets and below uh, that you should write affinity mask equals the value. So as you can see uh, my value is uh, 85 and I find this value that is the perfect for the, my setup. Uh, I have also tried of course without the affinity mask and also with affinity mask set to 116. But I found out that textures are getting blurred and every complex aircraft such as flight sim labs uh, after some time of flying. So you can also try out other various values, uh, but I recommend you to stick to uh, 85 or 116. Firstly try out one of the affinity mask and then in case you get the blurry textures, uh, change to appropriate number. Uh, in my opinion, if you're a VFR pilot, uh, then you can use the value of 116 as you are more or less uh, slower than every other airliner and there is no need for much CPU workload uh, that than when flying uh, the complex airlines such as Flight Sim Labs or PMDG. Again, use this tweak at your own responsibility and report down in the comments section which value is the best for your computer. I hope you will find this tweak uh, good enough to try it out uh, and I can say that I have tried different values and now as I am at uh, value 85 I found my sweet spot. Enjoy your flights and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like at the end. Stay tuned for further videos and that's it. See you soon. Bye bye.